Welcome back to the course in Robotic Process Automation. Well done. We have completed the initial setup for cloud automation. In this video, I'll show you how to create basic email automation. I will take an incoming email and then create a Google task with it. Pretty simple, right? But very helpful if you're a forgetful person. Let's go to Power Automate. The first thing that you must do is label your automation. Next to the back left arrow, click once on the current name and give an appropriate name. Bear in mind that in the future you'll be having many automations. A good naming practice must be adopted from the start. Almost all automation that you'll create will have a condition. So, expand the link, show advanced options. What you're looking at now must be familiar. You can use the different components of an email as your trigger. Sometimes it might be just one condition. Sometimes it could be a combination of strings and components to create a very narrow and specific filter to get the right emails to trigger the automation. We will use a keyword from the email subject and an email address from the manager to be specific. Add the word urgent on the subject option and add your email address on the email field for now. This is so that you can test your automation. You can test different triggers later. An important tip is to get a sense of the kind of words that your colleagues use for specific things and then use them to narrow the filter. Great. Since we will be creating a Google task, let's switch to Gmail for a quick setup. To do this, first, create a task list from your Gmail. The Google Tasks button is on the left of the screen. Give it a good name and then you're set. Now let go back to Power Automate. Add a new step. On the search bar, search for Google Tasks and then click on it. A pop-out dialog box will appear, and then select Create a Task in a Task List. Now we need to link the email and Google Tasks. Under Task ID, select the name of the task list that you created back on Gmail. Click on the title block and a pop-out box will show on the right. Select the email subject to be the name of the task. This makes the names of your tasks unique. You can leave the notes, but it helps to know what the task is about, so I'll include the body of the email. Now it's time to save the automation. Congratulations! You've automated a task. See you on the next video where we will be testing the automation.